My chocolate chip cookies are a year round staple, but when I'm looking for a fall favorite sweet treat, maybe something for the holiday cookie tin, well, I reach for my chewy chocolate chip bars and I know you're going to love them. One of the things I love about them is they're easy to make. I know you know I love to talk about technique and do some fancy baking, but now and again, you need a simple sweet treat. This starts with one cup of melted butter. I've melted my butter, but you wanna make sure when you're starting these bars that you let the butter cool down. It doesn't have to be fully cooled to room temperature, but cool enough that you don't melt your chocolate chips when you add them. To the butter, I'll add my sugars. You know, the method for making this recipe is similar to making chocolate chip cookies. You start with the butter, then you add your sugars. Here, I have one cup of light brown sugar and half a cup of regular white sugar. So you're really building in that chocolate chip dough kind of feeling with these bars, but I guarantee they're chewy all the way through. I'll whisk this together. And now I can add my two eggs. And I go big on the vanilla with this recipe. I add two teaspoons. These may be simple bars to make, but you have to make them memorable. Okay. And as soon as everything is whisked together, it's time to add your dry ingredients. Now, I don't always sift my flour when I'm making regular chocolate chip cookies, but I want these bars to be special, so I sift my dry ingredients. I already have my two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour in my sifter. And, of course, the secret to my chocolate chip cookies is the cornstarch. Cornstarch holds in moisture that keeps the center of the cookies nice and moist, well, the same trick applies here. Because these are thicker bars, it takes more cornstarch, a quarter cup. I also add baking soda and salt, three quarters of a teaspoon of each. And I'll sift this all together. If you wanted to, you could sift it directly over the bowl. But I like using a Tammy, a mesh sifter like this and parchment, it makes it easy. There we go, I'll lift the parchment up and over to the bowl. And you can add this all at once. You'll want to switch to a spatula at this point and stir until everything's evenly combined. You'll notice it's a pretty soft batter, so it's easy to blend by hand. This really is a great recipe to make with the kids. And of course, the last addition, chocolate chips. A generous amount, one and a half cups, but if a few more slip in, I am not saying no to that. Of course, you can mix up the flavors of your chips if you wanted to. Do milk and white and dark combined or flavored chips if you want. There we go. And I'll grab my pan. This recipe fits a nine inch baking pan. You can see the parchment comes up the sides. That way it's easy to lift the cooled bars out of the pan when it's time to cut them. In goes the batter. And now you can roughly spread it. Make it as level as you can. Make sure you get all the batter into the corners. You don't have to spread the batter to perfectly level it. The batter itself will melt and find out where it belongs. Okay, this is ready for the oven. I've preheated it to 350 and these take about 30 minutes to bake. You'll see that they sort of rise up at the edges a little. The edges will turn a nice golden brown and you'll see the top of the bars get a great shine to them. After your bars have come out of the oven, you want to cool them in the pan on a rack until they're cooled to room temperature. Then you pop them out of the pan and they're ready to slice. Cut them in whatever portion size you want, but see how easily and cleanly they slice? No crumbs or crumbly bits. This is why it's a great addition if you're starting to think about that holiday cookie tin. And they stay fresh and chewy and moist for days and days and days. You can also make these ahead and freeze them if you wish. Well, this bar has my name on it. That's not going into the freezer. That's going into my mouth. Ooh, see when you break it apart, how moist and chewy it is all the way through. Oh, bring on the cold milk. I love anything chocolate chip and these chewy chocolate chip bars are a new favorite of mine, especially during the fall. And I know this recipe will become a favorite of yours. Mm-hmm. Just a little crispy on the outside. Oh.